everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you all doing fine and I'm very happy to see you here today even if we live in very strange and turbulent and chaotic times for the moment. Today's video will be our viewers questions video and today is the 11th of February 2024. And to do this video, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, and some dice. And soon I'm going to read uh, the questions that I'm going to look into today. I have them here. But before I do that, I want to thank you all, wonderful viewers, for all of your support to this channel. Without your help, your comments, your sharing, likes, coffees, sh caring, everything you do is so highly appreciated and it helps a lot and gives a lot of strength to continue doing more videos. So thank you so much for that. And I also need to make a short scam warning, since there are a lot of scammers around. They are like uh, multiplying every day. And um, But if you are aware, then there is uh, no way they can trick you into anything. Uh, many of them may use uh, my profile photo, sending people mails, asking for crypto, this and that. Maybe welcoming people in, in false profiles on the Telegram group. Please remember, I never contact you first. I never promote anything. I never sell anything. And I don't do personal readings in case you should uh, find someone pretending to do that. It's not me. So if you like, you can scan, uh, ban, report, block, do what you want in, in case you should get contacted uh, um, by some scammers. And my correct email address and the link to the Telegram group and the backup channel on Rumble, you will find it down in the description. Mm -hmm. Once more on the Telegram group, it's an international Telegram group. Please respect that we communicate with each other in English. And this is because we are members from all around the world and English is an international language. So whatever information you would like to share, um, try to make that in English so everyone can have benefit of the information you like to share. And in this Telegram group, we share news from all around the world give each other tips, advices, spirituality. Sometimes I do a short reading on a question and so on. And, and those readings you can find them uh, if you click on the pinned messages above. And if you like to post anything that is in another language in English, please have a short description in English what the post is about. And if you post a video, make sure it has English subtitles or English speech. As I said, that is for respect for everyone on the group, in the group, in Telegram group. Uh, and if that is not respected, unfortunately, I have to delete those posts because um, I've said it so many times and this is for everyone, not only from a couple specific countries. Okay, uh, what are the questions we're going to look into today? There are a lot of things happening around our world and um, the first thing I'm going to look into are the wildfires in Chile. Mm -hmm. And the second question will be about Tucker Carlson and Putin, the interview that was made in Moscow. What will happen next? The third question I will look into today will be about Sweden, if uh, they will go into war with Russia. And the fourth question is if UK will go into war with Russia. And the fifth question is about toxic pet food. Is there an evil agenda behind uh, all that toxic pet food that is ar around to kill out our dear and beloved pets? And the final question for today will be about Pascual Nayadi. Is he a good actor or a bad one? Meaning if it is, is a good person or an evil person? What is, is there any hidden agenda? Okay, 
So let's start with the first question for today, and it's about <clears throat> the wildfires in Chile. There have been, more than a week ago, very devastating wildfires in many regions in Chile. A lot of people have lost their lives, over 135 I think it is for today, and it's very little reported in the media. Big, big areas in Chile suddenly caught fire and surprised a lot of people. And those fires resemble a little bit about those fires that happened in Lahaina, Maui. And people are wondering, are there man-made or are they some kind of natural fire that happens because there was a drought? Uh, mainstream media blame it on the climate change, of course, and um, on some Nino winds, so, yeah, whatever. It's always climate change involved. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to look into those wildfires in Chile. What is, what are they about? So, need to shuffle the cards a little bit. And we'll see what the cards have to say about those white fires. Wildfires in Chile. Many, many people lost their homes, their livelihood. The horrible, horrible wildfires. <clears throat> Just a moment, a couple more cards. some dice. Well, the cards, they look like this. Well, let's see what we got here. In the tarot cards, we have six of wands, three of cups, seven of coins, eight of wands, and eight of cups. On the oracle cards, we have falseness, uh, four leaf clover, distant thunder clear the air, book, and here we have appreciate, communicate with the dead, and take root. And on the dice we have an angry face, curvy, and um, like a warning flag. What to say about those wildfires? The first card we have falseness, meaning um, the whole truth about how they started is not out there. There is some false agenda behind it. Mm -hmm. And distant thunder and clear the air. And here you have like thunder, lightning coming from the air. Yeah. Uh, according to the cards, um, this, these wildfires that uh, was raging on many 
in many areas in Chile were not natural, they were man-made. Um, the lightning from above, for me, since this also there is the color of falseness, means it has been started mm, from some kind of energy weapon. And why? Because the people of Chile, uh, they were going into some kind of new era. They were planning to do something else, uh, to maybe change in the politics or change in the financial system. And that was, and they thought that could be quite well for them. But um, the falseness, we have a snake and a black cat, they didn't want that. Mm -hmm. And those wildfires were not expected, so they came as a surprise for the people. And many could not really prepare themselves and escape um, the fires. And here we have an angry face, curvy and warning, warning flag. It looks like whatever was behind those wildfires uh, will come out and that will make people extremely angry. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like the mainstream, they are very curvy in telling the truth, but uh, people know, people know. Mm -hmm. And there will be put a lot of work, a lot of studies to find the reason, the real reason behind those wildfires. Mm -hmm. And people in Chile, they are very, many of them are very spiritual people. They have a lot of healers, a lot of people connected uh, with the energies of Mother Earth and the universe. And that's why also communication with the dead come out. So they can communicate. They can also gather information from other dimensions. Yeah. And um, the truth will come out. And um, it will make people very angry. I don't see mm, mm, like big attacks again on Chile. And it looks like this will be the last one. And there will not be any more strange wildfires in that sense. Okay, if the land is dry and there's no water and no rain, accidentally things could catch fire. But not in that extent that was happening here. Mm -hmm. And so fast and so suddenly with so many people killed by flames. So yeah, there will be investigations around this and who and whatever was behind those fires will be found and uh, people will get the justice in that. Mm. Never uh, underestimate the, um, the shamans in uh, in Chile and all those spiritual people they know how to do their work very well okay well that was my answer for the first question let's continue to the next one and the next one is about the Tucker Carlson Putin interview a couple of days ago Tucker was in um, Moscow interviewing Putin, the leader of Russia. And um, this interview was very, very special since no journalist have um, asked to um, make a lo longer interview with uh, the leader of Russia. And whatever was said in this um, interview was in many ways 
totally contrary and what um, the mainstream media in the West are saying or to, uh, saying about all the situation, the conflicts with the country you and the country are, and who and what is behind everything. And this interview has gone viral online. I think it's over 200 million now that have seen it on X, but um, it's also downloaded and it's spreading on many different social platforms. So uh, many, many, many million people have seen it and people start questioning it. Who is saying the truth? Where is the propaganda and so on? And what will happen next? Will there be any changes or will this interview be just yeah, forgotten, not talked about as uh, the mainstream normally do? So I'm going to take some cards on that interview. What will be the consequences? What will happen after that? Tucker Carlson's interview with Mr. Putin. And the last one. And some dice. Yeah, well, the cards, they look like this. Well, let's see what we got here. In the tarot cards, we have the Empress, the Magician, Justice, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Wands. On the Oracle cards, we have Clouds, View from Above, Get the Big Picture, um, a uh, lot of tulips, reach out, love. And on the um, uh, dice we have a big P, ravenous and hero. So what to say about this question? Well, um, through this interview with Mr. P, uh, people uh, were allowed to get the big picture, big, get the big picture view from above, uh, because until now uh, we only had, especially in the West, one side of the story. Where there is a conflict, it's always good to hear both sides on equal terms, because it's never one person's fault when in, where there is an argument or a conflict of some kind. Um, we have the card of justice in the center. That gives more balance to what is happening. And we have the first oracle cards here is clouds. 
And we have been in a big cloud in the West. We have been fed with one side information, but through this interview, uh, we can better make our opinions on who, not who, but what could be the right um, information. And um, it will help a lot uh, for the justice in the future. It seems like everything is like a stage. Um, both, both sides are using a lot of manipulation. We have the magician. Um, but um, people will have to make their own decisions on what they think is right or wrong. So it's always important to see both sides and look back in history. What uh, could have led to a conflict and why? And be um, just about it. Not mani manipulated. Try to see the big picture. Yeah. Get the big picture. As it says here. The result of this interview mm, is that Mr. P, well, P, Ravenous and Hero, um, many people will change their opinion about him mm, and why this conflict in the country you is dragging on. There are a lot of players involved and especially in the West, we have been clouded not to see the big picture. But through this interview, uh, a lot of things will change, mm? especially in the opinion of, um, of the public. And it looks like reach out. So it looks like one side really wants peace but the other sides want to continue um, spending a lot of money on war and war equipments and not caring that so many people suffer and die in this conflict. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially those who are in the military, soldiers and so on, they are thinking beginning to think in different um, ways after this um, interview. According to the cards, it looks like this interview could be our big first step, uh, reach out uh, for peace, mm, to end this conflict, but also to bring justice into many areas that have been um, not uh, reached by justice. Mm. Uh, so yeah, changes will come, and especially in the minds of many people. Well, that was my answer for this question. Let's continue to the next one. And the next one was if Sweden will go into war with Russia. Here in Sweden, there are a lot of warmongering politicians that really, really, really are doing what they can to start a war or prepare the people for war. One can wonder why. There has not been any direct threats from uh, the country uh, against Sweden. Uh, but since Sweden have uh, sent a lot of weapons, money, military and so on uh, to an ongoing conflict on one side, of course they are um, worried about some kind of revenge. We also have the uh, Nord Stream pipeline that was sabotaged and the Swedish government are putting down that investigation. They want to look into that any further, even if there are a lot of evidence who and what 
was behind it. And also in the beginning of the conflict with the country you, uh, Swedish politicians bragged on TV and in the news that they have taken a lot of personnel from biolabs in Ukraine to Sweden and um, yeah, continue with some biolabs here. I don't know why. Well, let's see if Sweden will go into war with Russia, if there will be any conflict. Those fell out, they want to come. And some dice. Well, the cards, they look like this. Well, let's see what we have on the question if Sweden will go into war with Russia. In the tarot cards, we have the Hermite, Knight of Swords, uh, Six of Cups, the Sun, and Ace of Cups. On the Oracle cards, we have a fish, a lady, a child, Answering the call, the time is now. Uh, wishing well, vitality, and merriment. And on the dice we have water, like trumpets, and um, the binoculars, you know, when you want to look something at distance. According to the cards, the situation has been calm until now. We have the Hermit. But the politician answering the call, time is now. And below that we have the Knight of Swords. So they want to mobilize. It's their wish. But I don't get any war cards here. It's more of a wish than actually it's going to happen because we have a Page of Cups, we have the Sun and we have Ace of Cups. So it looks like before there can be any wish for war, you can call that, um, there will be some kind of peace agreement. So there will not be any need for war mm, with the, the country or and people will get very happy about that. The politicians will have water and like bassoons, trumpets, loud trumpets. They really want to play on people's emotions. So women, children, fish also lives in the water. So, and scare them up. But they will not be successful. Mm -hmm. And it could be some kind of provocation made from Swedish territory to the country or just to try to make people answer the call to join the army. But that provocation will not be answered uh, with uh, bombs back or something like that. No. 
um, it looks like the Swedish government are under observation. Uh, so they don't cross the line. Well, according to the cards, it doesn't look like it goes to a war with country R, even if they want people join the military and want to scare them up. But everything will be calmed down since there looks like there will be some kind of peace treaty. Yeah. Well, that was my answer for this question. Let's continue to the next one. <coughs> and the next one was almost the same, but if UK, United Kingdom, will go into war with Russia. So let's see. Will UK go into war with Russia? I would say they are already in some kind of war. Uh, yeah. When all the money, equipment and personnel they are sending to the country, you but not like an open conflict with UK and country R. And um, in this interview with Mr. P. Putin, he also claimed that the former PM of UK uh, didn't want to have any peace treaty and he did what he could to stop, stop that and so the war could continue. And who is right and who is wrong? Well, time will tell. But let's see, will there be an open war with country R? Uh, the cards, they look like this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, in the tarot cards, we have Queen of Wands, Temperance, King of Wands, Four of Cups and King of Coins. On the Oracle cards, we have a bouquet of flowers, Passion and Pleasure, Savor, Savor Your Life, a Whip and Fire, Rest After Labor, fortune and on the dice we have a reflection on curvy a virus and the sun here i don't see any war cards it looks like things will calm down even if the politicians are pushing just like in sweden um, for uk to prepare for war what I do see, and here is the king of wands, it, king can also represent a um, high position politician. And above this king of wands, we have a whip and fire. Could be that that politician 
or those politicians that were pushing for war or making a lot of effort to prolong um, this horrible conflict in, um, in the East, they will get some kind of punishment, mm, whip and fire. And they, many politicians in, sorry I'm laughing, in the UK, many politicians from high position will not be so happy and they will get a little bit scared here. What will happen next? Uh, rest of the labor and uh, so what is with what we are going on right uh, what we are experiencing right now is uh, a labor uh, like a woman who giving birth to a child it's extremely exhausting it's painful and it's a lot of fear and will it go well and so on and a lot of pain but that labor will end so we can begin to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I don't see any big war coming for the UK. But what I, I see though, we have also the virus here, some kind of um, illness. Mm -hmm. And we we'll have the whip and fire over this illness. So whatever have been made wrong, around what's happened the last three years around this specific illness and the treatment of it, it will come some kind of punishment for those who were involved and hiding uh, the truth for the people. And the last dice we have the sun. So light will come on many areas mm -hmm. and it looks like Mm, many kings and queens, uh, people in high position, will be affected by the whip and fire. They will try to get away, yeah, curvy, sneak away with some strange explanations, uh, but they will not be able to. Well, that was my answer if UK will join and go into war with Russia. And the answer is, according to the cards, no. So, let's continue to the next question. And the next question is about toxic pet, pet food. Mm -hmm. Lately there have come a lot of reports about uh, pet food that have a lot of toxins uh, in the food. And it could be pet food for dogs and cats and so on. And many veterinarians, veterinarians have uh, raised alarm that something is wrong with this food. And it's mainly food from very well-known brands that have contained a lot of chemicals, a lot of toxins that are making the pets sick and in many times they suffer a lot and die. And I'm going to look into this, if this is intentionally and so that our pets, that we will not be able to have pets and one of the big agendas of WEF is not allow people have pets because it's not good for the climate mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but all the benefits that our lovely pets gives the love the, the health the, the caring everything you will uh, experience from your pet it's not good because it make us human and um, we must be isolated from that I have also noticed in many pet food shops they have begun to sell a lot of pet food containing insects and even pet food that I, where they hide uh, that uh, insects, the bugs. So you cannot 
see it right away. So it's important if you don't want to feed insects and bugs to your pets, you have to read very carefully the labels. But also, it could be good to maybe prepare uh, pet food for yourself. Those pet foods that we buy in the shops today, they have not been around for so long. Uh, throughout the ages, uh, both cats and dogs survived on um, real food, not this um, factory-made uh, strange food. And many times you don't really know what they put in there, in what conditions uh, the meat was, or whatever they add uh, to the pet food. So there is a big business in that, and uh, you will have to use your own discernment. But let's see. Let's take some cards on the pet food. And finally some dice. Well, the cards, they look like this. Yeah, let's see what we got here. In the tarot cards, we have Queen of Coins, the Justice, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Queen of Cups. On the Oracle cards, we have a letter, Savor Your Life, a bouquet of white lilies, balance, and garden. On the dice we have a tent, a dove, peace dove, and life. Mm -hmm. The card in the center we have eight of swords. A lot of people are worried. And it looks like they have reason to be worried. Mm -hmm. But I also get that it's up to each one of us uh, to take care of our pets, to make sure um, to give them as natural and healthy food as possible. We have the garden, we have the life here, and we have flower. So, not be so dependent on big corporations. Um, if you look back, who is funding them and who owns them at the top, uh, it could be quite disturbing. And, and maybe support local pet food um, manufacturers, people you can trust with pet food. And that is also um, maybe to wake us up a little bit that everything on this planet is affected. Uh, it's not only humans, it's our pets, it's the nature, everything is affected on um, what the evil ones are planning to do with us. So we have to be strong and we have to do our research and read. We have letter and look back who is, where did this come from? Who did it? Uh, did they use any chemicals? Do some research and try to give your pets 
as natural food as possible. Mm. As I said, dry food and this kind of thing, it didn't exist so long. It only have existed for a, a short time. Uh, dogs and cats and have been eating all kinds of food, not those in um, that was made in the factories. Yeah? And they lived good lives uh, then too. So I think it's more up to us. And yes, um, there will be some justice made in this area too. And a lot of factories that are putting this kind of chemicals in their uh, pet foods, they will not continue to exist. But it's up to us to take care of our pets and uh, give them as natural and healthy food as possible. And in that way, these big corporations will not sell the products and they will liquidate, they will vanish by themselves. Even if I think, uh, because they are on observation, those big factories, and I don't think they will exist for so much more, because um, you are trying to poison a man's best friends. Mm -hmm. And when you touch, someone touch your best friend, of course you're going to get angry and you're going to try to defend them. Uh, but at the end, I, it seems that this will clear out and the um, responsibility is up to our pet owners not to give what could be toxin and make a lot of research and try to make as much healthy food as possible. Yeah. Well, that was my answer about pet food. Let conti let's continue to the last question for today's viewers' questions. And let's see. That is about a um, man called Pascual Pascal Nayadi. I hope I don't know if I pronounce that correct. Is he a good or bad person? And he has come up a lot lately. And it, Seems like his father was one of the founders of WAF, um, but left the organizations when he saw how, yeah, how bad it was. And uh, Pascal has very harsh feelings and strong opinions about WEF, and he's a retired banker and a Swiss citizen. Citizen, and uh, he also is an influencer. He makes a lot of videos, and he talks about uh, the current situation in the world, about the treatment that was pushed on people in the last years, and a lot of. It seems like he has a lot of inside information, and he has his views on what could happen or not. And I have many viewers uh, sending me mails asking me if I could yeah, put some cards on this uh, Pascal, if he's a um, good person, bad person, if there is some hidden agenda behind his uh, videos or what he's talking about. So Pascal Nagyati Evil. 
And the last one. Oops. And some dice. Okay, the cards, they look like this. Okay, let's see what we got here for Pascal. In the tarot cards, we have the Tower, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of... No, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers. On the Oracle cards, we have Restless Energy, a ring, and then we have a ring again. And Sweetheart, First Light, Beginning a new cycle and then a desire for a plate with fork and knife and a hand that is cut and bleeding according to the cards it looks like mr pascal has been suffering a lot and is suffering a lot he has been through some very uh, big um, turbulent changes in his life and that made him uh, or gave him a lot of restless energy he has a desire for for a good life but he feels trapped he feels like his health is not so good um, and he really wants to be free uh, from those energies I have two rings here mm -hmm. and a ring is also a symbol of some kind of commitment, engagement and it looks like he has been engaged in things that he regrets today and he wants to get free from that. He still feels a lot of bound to things that he have experienced or seen or maybe been a part of. And that have hurt him. He just want to live life like everyone, but he's hurt today. I don't see him as an evil person. And we have the lovers, we have the wheel of fortune. It looks like he wants to give something back, uh, some good energy back. Uh, so maybe humanity can begin a new cycle of life. Um, have the love us a loving energy we all have had our past uh, even if people have done maybe bad things in the youth doesn't mean that they are bad people uh, we can all change we can all uh, work for uh, better things uh, for humanity and uh, no one is without guilt we all have done sad things that we may regret today but the important thing is what you do today and how you want to be tomorrow so um, yeah we cannot always judge person from the past we must judge them by their current actions also so yeah but I don't see Mr. Pascal as some evil person uh, with a hidden agenda, agenda, but he has been attached, he has been committed to things he really didn't want to. Uh, and he doesn't feel well today. Mm. But I still see he will have many years ahead and things will change for Mr. Pascal, change for the better. Mm. So yeah, well, that's what I could see from Mr. Pascal. 
and I don't see him as an evil person. I see at this point he really want to do things that are good and loving and um, help uh, humanity in the best way he can. Well, that was my answers for today's viewers' questions. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you wonderful viewers out there, please take care. Don't panic. panic. Things are going to get quite chaotic in the near future. And um, be honest to your heart and your soul. And um, go for peace, not war. Because no one really wants war. We all want to ha have peaceful, loving and harmonious life. And there is that is what we should focus on. Um, but at the end it looks like all this craziness, all this chaos will vanish. And the future of humanity looks quite bright on all stages. Uh, that was my answer. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care, be strong and hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye bye.